When you're ready to set up the Autodesk Model Checker for Revit, simply go up to BIM Interoperability Tools, come over to the Model Checker, and look for Setup. Here, you can change the current check set file. If you click on Open, it brings up another dialog box. First, this tells you the parameters or properties of the check set file. Here you can browse to your own check set file. You can also take a look at recent check set files that you have. Over here you have the public library and my library. Over here in my library, these checks are located in your documents folder under model checker templates. Over here in the public library, these are check set files that you are downloading directly from the BIMInteroperabilityTools.com website. Here I'm going to click on General Element Checks, and when I do that, it tells me the title, the date, who authored, and the description. I'm going to click on OK, and when I click on OK, now I have that same set of properties here and also my element checks. When I click on elements, this gives me the different list of checks that I can turn on and off. In this example, I have duplicate modeled elements. This will report for any duplicate elements, generic models, groups, in place families, and any sort of mass elements. If I want to change any of these configurations, I can just turn off the checks that I do not want. When I'm ready, I can just come over to save and close. And now I'm ready to run my check. 